Ah, 1990. What a year. What a crazy, crazy year. Some of the things that came out in the 90s were incredible. We were all looking a lot younger, a lot better looking. For those of us that were alive, I wasn't, and I'm sure most of you weren't. In 1990, this car came out. Yep, that's right, this was an actual car. The Simpsons first aired on Fox. Margaret Thatcher stepped down from Prime Minister of England, and Vinnie Jones was getting away with tackles like these. I mean, seriously, I'm not even joking, he was getting away with them. Look at the referee's hand. What kind of card is that, ref? That's not a card. You, you're just letting him go. So I thought to myself, what would the 1990 First Division, as it was called back then, look like today? How would the teams that have fallen from the graces of the top flight of English football fare in a league with their old comrades from 1990? This is how the 1989-1990 First Division table ended up looking like. Liverpool were the champions, to no one's surprise, I'm sure, at the time. And reading down the list, it went Aston Villa, Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal. That's right, Spurs at one point finished above Arsenal. You know, I bet this season is going to be the first time it's going to happen since this season of 1990. I bet you anything, this was the last time it happened. Anyway, Arsenal were in their traditional fourth. See, that hasn't changed. That, that's not a new thing. That's been Arsenal's thing for a while now. Chelsea, Everton, Southampton, Wimbledon, Nottingham Forest, Norwich City, Queen's Park Rangers, Coventry City, Manchester United in 13th, Manchester City in 14th, and yes, for those of you wanting to know, Sir Alex Ferguson was the manager of Manchester United in the 1990 season, and yes, he did come 13th. Palace in 15th, Derby County in 16th, Luton Town in 17th, and getting relegated from the first division, Sheffield Wednesday, Charlton Athletic, and Millwall. But how would these teams do now? Who would come first? Who would come last? Now, of course, there's some very clear favourites. A lot of these teams, well, maybe about half these teams, aren't in the top flight of English football. But which of these relegated teams would do well enough to stay in the Premier League? Maybe there's a few surprises in there as well. Without further ado, let's take a look at how things end up. Okay, here we are halfway through the season at the moment. It's Chelsea at the top of the table. Just one loss to their name. Liverpool sit in second, Arsenal in third, and Spurs in fourth. You got the championship side, Aston Villa, who's up there in sixth position, and Norwich City in tenth. Uh, but as far as the top ten goes, it's all Premier League teams. The only Premier League team that's not in the top ten at the moment is Southampton, who sit in thirteenth position behind the likes of Sheffield Wednesday and Charlton Athletic. And to no one's real surprise, it's QPR, Millwall, Derby County, Nottingham Forest, Luton Town, Wimbledon, and Coventry City dead last. Now, I know you can't see Coventry City because EA are big-ass trolls and for some reason made it that you could only see 19 spots at a time and they didn't add that 20th spot because, you know, there just wasn't enough room to put a 20th spot. I've talked about this before. It's very annoying, but Coventry City, just so you know, are last. Okay, and here we are at the end of the season. Everything seems to have evened out. Chelsea have won the league. The Manchester squads are in the top four, and Arsenal have finished fourth. Literally nothing changed from 1990 to 2017. Arsenal were in fourth in 1990, and they're still fourth now. If only they could say that in real life. They're actually going to miss out on top four. Sorry, Arsenal fans, it has to be said. Just to confirm, this time I'll show it. Coventry City are last. Only on goal difference, though. So who are the biggest winners and who are the biggest losers? Well, if you take a look at the actual positioning of the teams, it's actually Manchester United and Manchester City who have improved the most since 1990. Both teams going up a whopping 11 places on the league table if you compare it to the old table. Aston Villa did well enough to get 7th, which I was surprised enough as a championship squad for them to be able to do that. But they were 2nd in 1990, so they've still fallen a little bit. But I guess Wimbledon is probably the biggest loser out of all of this, going from 8th to 19th. And in real life, they're in League 1 as well. So the only person bigger loser than them in real life is Luton Town, who've dropped all the way to League 2. But as far as league positioning... Uh, they've only gone down one. The only teams to have finished in the exact same spots, like I mentioned before, were Arsenal in 4th and Norwich in 10th. However, QPR were incredibly close. They were in 12th, 
Whereas in 1990, they were in 11th. But that'll do it for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy this, it is something a little bit different. It's not too exciting, but I would like to do more of these. Maybe every, like, five years. Like, I could do 1995 or 1985. Maybe I could do more of these and see what teams have improved or what teams have fallen off the face of the planet like Luton Town, who were in the first division and now in the fourth division. But it's sort of nice to compare and see how things were back in the day. Because a team like Southampton, who in my lifetime are a recently promoted team, were actually in the first division in 1990, coming seventh. I mean, they were actually a really good team, the second best attacking team in 1990. So it is really interesting to see which of these teams were in the first division or in the Premier League. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you do leave a like on the video. If you have a keen ear, you might have noticed some of the weird songs that I was playing throughout the video. I wanted to do some older songs to give an older theme, uh, but also none of the songs that I played were actually from... 1990 itself like for instance right now you're listening to the theme song of the magnificent seven which came out in 1960 uh, i hope you guys can forgive me for that but without further ado guys i'm gonna get up out of here i hope you did enjoy today's video i hope you had a good day i'll see you guys in the next one very soon keep it real